Hey guys, we got Coach Peichel here. We're going to let him kick it off. And then please remember to ask questions with the raise your hand feature that we have. Thanks. Hey guys, you there? Guys, can you hear me? You guys? Um, obviously, you know, tough road game. Uh, Michigan played played well. I thought we were a step slow on both ends of the floor. Um, you now I'm worried about the stretch with our guys. And, you know, I thought it kind of showed a little bit here you know, today, um, but give them credit. I mean, I thought Hunter Dickinson started the game off and then we were worried about Caleb Houston. He shoots 45% from three at home, 28% on the road. Kind of got us with a few threes too. Um, and they just seemed to step quicker than us all over the place today. Obviously we're dealing with foul trouble too, doesn't help, but uh, we have to play better against a good Michigan team um, on the road and we didn't. Jerry, you want to kick it off? Jerry, can't hear you. We'll let Brian kick it off. Steve, you guys were within a six-point game for – there was about 25-minute stretch there, and then they have that 11-0 run that breaks the game open. Just what was missing in that stretch for you guys to kind of string some baskets together and come over that hump? Because it looked like you guys were close, just couldn't. I mean, stops were what was missing. You know, they got on a run there. and um, They got into the lane. Uh, we talked a lot about that, and then, um, you know, they got on a little bit of run. We had some timely turnovers, too, um, and some opportunities to make some layups and make some shots that we didn't convert on. So, well, that kind of snowball when you're on the road like this, you, you know, you can't, have, you can't have stretches like that. And, you know, we never could seem to get three, four stops in a row um, either, which would have helped us, you know, a great deal. So, both ends of the floor, you know, kind of hurt us tonight. Like I said, you know, Brian, I thought – we were just a step slow, um, you know, again, on both ends of the floor. And, and uh, you know, I got to make sure they get we get back, we get some rest and, you know, we get back to our energy and our and our quickness that we, we need to play under. Chris Eisman. You, uh, Paul obviously hasn't had many nights like this uh, lately. I mean, kind of just what did you see from him tonight? And then what was their defense able to do to kind of take him out of his game? And maybe what he's, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, Paul's been great. And I'm not worried about Paul. I mean, there were some just some calls, you know, it was foul trouble. Really never got into the flow. Um, every time he kind of checked in the game, you know, he seemed to, you know, draw a foul or uh, get called for a foul. So he just never got into rhythm. And um, he's really good. He'll bounce back and, and go from there. Guys have nights like that. Tom Canavan. Hey, Steve. It looked like they did a real good job of limiting your second chance points tonight. Did you, did they do that or? I mean, we had seven rebounds offensive. They're really good rebounding the basketball, you know, um, you know, they, they did a good job in a lot of areas. I thought they made it tough for us. Um, I thought the way they ran their offense and got going downhill, started off with a couple of fouls in both halves. Um, that wasn't how I wanted it, but they made threes too. Um, and jump shots, um, mid-range in the lane. I thought, you know, their point guard was really good, Devontae Jones, going downhill and causing some havoc, you know, for us. But, uh, you know, we got to play better and we got to rebound better. And they out-rebounded us too. So those are all keys for us. And, and we didn't really pass the test on any of them. And that's not a good recipe against a team that's very good. Bobby Darren. Steve, in the first half, you only had a few three-point attempts. Everything was seamless closer to the basket. What kind of went into that? Was it just how the game played out? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go to the basket, you know. Like, um, I want to limit our threes, especially on the road. Um, and I want to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, we weren't able to get that. I thought we did get some good looks. But when, when we did, um, they didn't fall. Um, you know, I thought Gio had some really good looks that he normally, you know, steps in and makes – um, you know, I thought Ron had a couple looks too that he normally makes, but, uh, you know, we just didn't shoot the ball well and, uh, you know, again, can't do that on the road in this league. Aaron Brightman. Aaron. Coach, uh, was there anything that in terms of you saw? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. You went in and out, Aaron. Go ahead. Yeah, you're on mute now, I think. Yeah, it looks like you're on mute, Aaron. Can you, sorry, can, I, I was talking, it was, uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. 
just asking in terms of um, if there was anything differently you felt that Michigan showed today with Martelli as head coach and um, with their bench playing a lot more. Yeah, I mean, they played the bench, um, but Johns has been a problem for us. He had 20 the last time he played against us. Um, you know, they probably didn't play as much zone as they have been playing, uh, but they ran, you know, the same sets. And, you know, obviously he's a good coach, but they got good players too. And um, Juwan has done a good job with, with that team. So, uh, you know, not too much different, a couple wrinkles here and there. Brian? Steve, you mentioned being a step slow. Is, is there anything you could put your finger on? Is it the ton of difficult opponents in a row? Is it being on the road? Just Is there a specific reason? Yeah, or is I, mean, just... I, I think, you know, I think all those things, you know, I think all those things factor in. It's been as, as tough a stretch as any Rutgers team has ever played, you know, and that two games back to back on the road, you know, classes, all the things that they got to do too. So looking forward to getting them back and getting them off their feet and uh, got to get ready for, you know, a team Wisconsin playing as well as any team in the country. Just if you, so, sorry, really quick. Uh, going off, the, just the, the physical part is, is something that seems obvious, but emotionally too, just going into all these games with such high stakes, does that also kind of take a toll in, in that sense as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, we have to win, you know, like it's just the way it is in this league. You have great teams, you know, challenges galore. And, you know, every game, these guys are used to, you know, they have to win every game, you know, like from day one. They, you know, everyone asks about the tournament from day one before the season even starts. So these guys have been through that. That's not that's not an issue for these guys. We're confident. We just got to, you know, play really, really well defensively. And, you know, I thought we had a good game plan. Brandon Knight does a great job. I thought we uh, we had a good, solid game plan. We didn't follow it the way that we normally do. And, um, you know, they got us out of rhythm. We got in foul trouble. You know, the ball wasn't falling. And um, they took advantage of it. Tom Canavan. Uh, Steve, uh, do you think they got any added jump because of what happened with Juwan in the sense that they felt their backs were against the wall? I mean, I think there's, you know, I think for, for certain. And like I said, I mean, um, they started a guy that the last time he played against us had 20 points. So they have really good players, you know, but I'm certainly teams are at different stages in you know, especially at home, they've been very good at home too. So um, I think all those things, you know, definitely factor in and, and they look like the more well-rested team tonight too. They, they really, uh, they really played at a fast pace. And, and like I said, I, we were a step slow and that's not a good recipe. Last you for coach uh, Craig Epstein. A uh, coach at the end there, I kind of, we kind, I kind of noticed uh, Ron started shaking his hand, one of his finger. Is, is he, how's he feeling? Is he okay? Yeah, it's great. It's great. You see the way he's playing, you know, really he's, his toughness is, is unbelievable. You know, he could have probably missed three or four games and he didn't miss any. And to play at the level he plays at every night and gets their best defender, you know, he scores 19 points and grabs eight rebounds. You know, it just kind of tells you a little bit about how he is. Um, and then this toughness. Aaron? Aaron, you're on mute. Coach, uh, what's the message for the team now that when you get back home on for Saturday? Yeah, you know, we have to play better on Saturday. We don't have a lot of time. By the time we get back tonight, one o'clock in the morning you or whatever, you know, one o'clock in the morning, we'll get back and we'll start preparing for Wisconsin and we know how good they are. And we know that they got. I'm sorry, sorry. Did, did you hear me? I don't know how much you got of that, Aaron. Hey, Coach, it, you're you're going in and out too. All right, we're 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 gonna wrap this one up, guys. We really appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you being on. Thank you so much, guys. Safe travels. Thank you.